Hi, it's Juliet Loves Beginning, and today I have a talk called uh, Because You Paused. And it starts with the problem over there is always a projection, and there are never any exceptions. This I'm saying right after I uh, became impatient with a friend and I saw a problem is clearly over in what I would call her court. And I, I became very frustrated and I had to walk through that process of seeing what I was projecting. So yeah, it's real. It's on the ground. It's, it's in our lives and our experience every day. And it's, this comes, these messages are always for me and they're always completely appropriate to what I'm experiencing. So if I ever use you language, know that it's my, um, my friends, my light friends, telling me like you <laughs> they're addressing me okay so there are never any exceptions and when I have a quiet moment I can look at this and see okay <laughs> let's see what am I perceiving what problem am I seeing over there that's actually coming from my fear here inside and when I feel the frustration with what I think is a real actual problem over there away from me what is one thought attached to that frustration? What am I believing? What can I let go of? That's, that's always the key. And the peace can come in so quickly when I just realize it's like a thorn in my foot. And sometimes I'm just looking outward, outward, outward before I'll look down at my foot and let spirit take the thorn out of my own foot. It's always in my own foot. Okay, the purpose of time is to show you how each one of those things labeled as problem is a projection. I can't tell you how perfectly timed this message is. So you can release out of the sight of it. Because the situation in my life is a, is a repeating situation. It happens and it happens and it happens. <laughs> and I can't just hope it will get better. Because then I'm hoping that something outside of me will change as if it really can. Everything I perceive and everything I experience is either projected from the fear I'm holding on to, or I'm allowing the extension of it from the love that I am, that everything is, that those are the only two things that can happen. So let me look at it again. The purpose of time is to show you how each one of those things labeled as problem is a projection so you can release out of the sight of it. So I have to own my projections. I'm going to pause here for a minute. I just turned my dehumidifier off. Okay, I have to own my projections. And if I think it's a flaw or a tendency or a problem in someone out there, I'm wrong. <laughs> and I just, I need to be have a preference for being wrong so my mind can be set right so I can accept happiness instead. I could be right about somebody out there and what their problem is, what their defect is, what their tendency is, but I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> so would I rather be happy? Yes. Happiness has to become a priority for me so I can release out of the repetitive perception of those who are my equals. Okay, so you are here to watch your feelings and your thoughts, not the drama, which you cannot judge. That's exactly what I did this morning. I started judging the drama, and then I started judging it more, and then I started judging it more. And I, I got out of the setting where I was paying attention to, it's my feeling, it's my thought, I know what to do. I know the routine, I know the drill. I fell out of it. I began to judge the drama, then I judged it some more and some more, and then it felt inevitable and I went into defense. I started trying to set a boundary, started trying to protect myself which is all fine. We're all here to learn with each other, right? And I learned a lot from watching this unfold, how easily and quickly I fell into, once I accepted one judgment thought about the drama, 
then another and another. So yeah, it happens quickly. It multiplies. It escalates. But if I stay in the setting where I'm clear, it's my feelings, it's my thoughts. I can't judge the drama. <laughs> the drama is just the drama. Then it's much, much easier to take all the opportunities that come to let go of the thoughts that have been limiting me. Okay, in this moment, it is safe to forget about anything you believe you can protect or defend or keep watch over. Well, the, the ego hates hearing that, <laughs> but yeah, it's safe if I go into the moment, if I go into the now, if I rely on spirit, if I rely on what I am versus what ego is telling me anything is, the situation, the other person, myself. Ego has many comments about all of these things and what should be done and how things should be different from how they are right now. Ego has many, many, many comments. And it's my job to ignore all of that commentary and to get to the bare bones of my feelings and what thought did I just believe. That's it. Because my feeling tells me that there's some work to be done. So in this moment, it is safe to forget about anything you believe you can protect or defend or keep watch over. What am I trying to protect or defend? The separate experience of this entity to look into a future and try to keep this experience comfortable and limited and safe from intrusions. Well, what's the only thing that can intrude? God, <laughs> what really is love. So when I'm fighting against anything, I'm fighting against love, the perception of love's intrusion. I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel when I'm fighting against that. And I can always, you know, it takes training and patience and watching, but I can always relax out of the perception of that. Once I've gone over to that dark side, into the tension, into the stress, into thinking I'm subject to something, into thinking I'm victim to something. I can always relax out of that. And there's really nothing more important than that. Because any thought I need that's going to help me through the situation can't come to me when I've just enclosed myself with a whole group of judgments about myself and what I need and what I don't need and the other one and, and what qualities they have and judgments about the situation and what's happening. All of that keeps me from hearing the thoughts that spirit would give me to walk me through this situation and to lead me into appreciation of the one I'm seeing as other. Because appreciation of them is appreciation of myself. If I can't appreciate them, I can't appreciate myself. I can't appreciate what's actually here because my true self and their true self, they're joined. <laughs> and if I'm trying to judge them separately, one versus another, I am lost. And the whole point of this experience is to stop being intentionally lost and allow myself to be found and carried and held and, and shown the way. Okay, so in the emptiness, in the pause, I have to drop every judgment about everything, about myself, about the other, about the situation, about a past, about a future. I have to drop every, every, every single judgment to go into that emptiness, into that spaciousness, into the place where spirit can help me. In the pause, everything comes to you that you need. Because you paused, you set it rolling. So it's like when I'm in resistance, when I'm in judgment, when I'm trying to figure out something about you, looking at you as separate from me, it's comparative in some way, then I've just closed off my access to what can come into the now, to what I set rolling when I agree to live in the now, stay in the now. Let all the resources or thoughts that I need, the guidance that I need, come to me in that place. 
So what do I have as a result of getting upset this morning, <laughs> thinking I was a victim of a, an uncomfortable situation? I have, I have commitment. I have understanding that it, it was, it was my thinking. That's all it was. I have appreciation for the one I call other because she's helping me walk through these lessons. Whether we have an easy time of it or not, she's help me, helping me walk through these lessons. And that's what I have. I have the now. <laughs> I don't know anything particularly. I don't know anything particularly about the past or the future or about her in comparison to me because they were incomparable. We're joined. There is no comparison. Uh, so I don't know anything particularly, but I don't have to know anything particularly because whatever I need walks me through whatever situation I'm experiencing. So let's see if I can remember that <laughs> and carry it with me. And I am wishing you well. Happy healing.